In this video, we're going to be looking at three ways that you can scarify your lawn and it will really fit with anyone's budget. I'm going to be giving you an overview of the manual scarification method, a powered machine, and also a lawn mower which has got a built-in cassette system. I'm also going to be discussing the pros and cons for each of the types of methods. And finally, I'm going to be doing an, an example pass with each of the different machines so you can see the type of results you might get and what you can expect from using each type of method. Let's first talk about what is scarification. Now, scarification is the process of raking out all of the dead matter that sits inside the lawn. And what this is going to do is it's going to help the lawn breathe. It's going to prepare the surface, especially if you want to overseed or fertilize. And if you think about it, thatch that's built up underneath the grass surface, when you drop in seeds and fertilizer on there, if any of it's sitting on that thatch layer, it's not going to get down into the roots of the plant and you're going to not get the most value for money from your fertilizers and you're not going to get the same germination quality from your seeds. The best times of year to scarify the lawn are in spring and April and the reason for this is the grass is actively growing. When the grass is actively growing it means it can quickly push up through the ground and repair itself from any of the processes that we use to scarify the lawn. So first up we're going to be looking at method one which is a manual method. Now manual garden tools have been around for years and years and they're readily available in most garden centres and online shops. You can get more specialist scarifying tools like this scarify rake here which has got these fixed blades which are going to tear through the thatch in your lawn and help it breathe. You can also use more general garden rakes. Um, a fixed garden rake is going to give you a more aggressive finish and a springtime rake is going to give you a more softer finish. Some of the pros about using manual garden tools are they're really readily available. You can pick them up from garden centres or online stores or even some second-hand marketplaces and they're quite cheap. So in terms of cost, this is the most affordable option but generally, uh, user manual tools, they're cheap, uh, cost-effective, and great for small areas. So let's have a go at using the manual rake and see what we get up to. A tool like this with a nice long handle is gonna be much easier on your back. And I'm six foot two, and I've got no issues with using this. I'm just working the lawn backwards and forwards. picking out any of the dead matter. So we can see just from that little pass of a couple of meters, we've got all this thatch, which is smothering the lawn and it's going to prevent and reduce the effectivity of our fertilizers. Another good thing about scarifying is it can help you to pull out some weed type grasses. These will be grasses that we don't really want in our lawn and they're annual grasses with these little seed heads on the top. These grasses are more coarse, uh, they don't look as fine and they can be a much lighter color. So if you have got these type of grasses in, in place in your lawn, scarifying won't completely remove them, but raking them out, especially when it's dry. These grasses have got shallow root systems and they do not like dry weather. This particular April, it's been really, really dry. So as I'm raking it, I'm pulling out loads of these weed grasses, which is great for when I overseed to give me a better quality lawn. So let's get cracking with method number two. So I've left some of the debris on the lawn on this side so you can see the results of method number one, which is the manual method. And method number two is gonna be around a dedicated scarifier unit. Now, there are different types of units you can get. The professional units are obviously much more heavy duty, tend to be powered by petrol, um, although there are some good battery operated ones coming onto the market now, and they will be a lot more expensive. This video is really designed for the homeowner, so I'm going to be focusing on more of a homeowner type machine, which is a plug-in uh, scarifier. That means a unit similar to this. 
So if we take a look at what's going on underneath and you can see how this machine works and it's gonna rip up the thatch from the lawn. So underneath, underneath this machine, um, there's not a lot going on underneath there really. You've got this little hatch which fits a grass box onto the back and you've got this spring tined system. These machines tend to come with two cartridges. There's a um, scarification type of raking cartridge, which is this one, or there's a more heavy, what they call uh, aerator cartridge, which has got solid tines and blades. You can see this piece of equipment is the aerating cartridge and it isn't a plug aerator, it's a slitting type of aerator that's gonna make little marks in the soil surface, which can help with water penetration and also rip up some thatch. So generally how I'm thinking about these things is uh, for sort of ongoing maintenance where a lawn is up to a relatively high standard, I generally use this type of raking system. If I want a more aggressive and deep scarification where there's lots of thatch, I'm gonna be using something like this. There's also a little height adjustment on the side of here where you can set the depths of these blades, which is quite good because you might want to vary it depending on how aggressive you want to be in your lawn. And if you're in doubt, start a high setting, do a pass, take a look what it looks like, and then you can decide whether you want to take more or less off. If you're interested in um, purchasing a machine like this, I've left an affiliate link in the description below. Uh, I purchased this machine off Amazon around two years ago, and I think it's a brilliant little machine for a small to medium sized garden and great for a domestic user. It does the trick and I use it as part of my renovations year on year. Some of the pros of using this type of unit is it's quite small and compact. This means it can go at the back of the shed, uh, it stores very easily. And for this particular unit, the handles fall down and collapse into quite a compact little bit of space. It is slightly more expensive than the manual system, but it's also um, in the middle ground for price in relation to a full cassette system or a professional unit. Um, if you've got a severely, severely heavily thatched lawn, you might want to consider a different options. There's lots of good professional lawn care companies who can raise that standard of your lawn for you and maybe keep an ongoing maintenance with a unit like this. So with all that being said, let's do a pass with this unit and see how we get on. be difficult to tell on the camera but the powered method has removed more material along this straight significantly quicker. This means I'm going to be able to do multiple passes in different directions in half the time and it's going to be a lot less manual work. The last method I'm going to be looking at is a full cassette lawnmower system. Now there's a number of different types of mowers that have this capability. Um, this particular model is the Swordman Electra and this model has been given to me on loan as a demo unit from gardenimports.co.uk. Uh, I haven't been paid for making this video so all the results you'll see are the real deal but I thought I'd use it as a third method just to give you a flavour of what this type of system can do. Now what a cassette system lawnmower is, is basically the main body of the mower is the same, but you can get different blades of interchangeable cartridges that fit inside this machine. This gives it a huge amount of versatility for different types of jobs, from brushing to vertical in and scarifying, and obviously mowing the lawn. Now, some of the cons about using a system like this is the upfront cost. You will have to pay for the main body unit itself and the different cassettes. So there is a higher outlay generally to have the infrastructure to be able to switch the cartridge system around. In terms of the pros, this system is mainly designed for lawn enthusiasts who really want to take their lawn to the next level. You get a high range of interchangeability and a lot of flexibility for one tool that can do many different jobs in the lawn. So with that being said, let's load the cartridge into the machine and see what we're looking at. Before I put the cartridge into the machine, I just want to say, if you've got any questions about this video, uh, please leave them me in the comments section below and consider liking and subscribing to my channel, The Garden Lawn Care Guy. So here's an example of the mowing blade. And this mowing blade rotates these cylinders against this little bed knife at the bottom. I've just taken this cassette out of the machine because we're going to load in the scarifying unit 
and give it a whirl. So you can see that type of machine is actually throwing the debris out forward. Now that's going to give it a bit of a cleaner path as it runs and actually it can be a bit easier to tidy up. Some of the machines that fire the debris out backwards tend to fill up the grass boxes really really quick and you end up uh, taking them off and just letting the debris pile up on the lawn. On a small garden when I'm using the cassette type system I found it throws the debris forward and leaves it in a nice little pile for me at the end of my strip which I think is pretty handy. Um, one of the other things to think about is when using that type of machine it's generally either going to be a petrol machine or a battery machine and what that means is no cables. So you're going to be looking to use that on small, medium or large type of lawns because when you've got a cable you can be restricted in terms of the area of coverage that you can cover. The petrol machines will obviously run for a really long time and some of the battery machines have got fantastic distances, one to two thousand square meters plus, so it gives you a lot more freedom without a cord. So overall those cassette type of systems can have a higher upfront cost to purchase uh, they offer a lot more flexibility and they don't have the constraints of using a cord. So overall, in terms of which method's best, really depends on what your goals are and what your budget is. There's a method for everybody in there and if you want to get a quick job on a small area, perhaps the manual method is good for you. If you've got a small to medium sized lawn and you don't have a constraint for space, perhaps the powered unit. And if you're really looking to take your lawn to the next level and have all the right tools and equipment to uh, maintain your lawn on a frequent basis, then the cassette system could be ideal. Also, if you've got a larger area, the cassette type system, petrol or electric models are really good to cover those distances. So the next part of the video, I'm actually gonna finish up the lawn using the powered machine, because I think that's most representative of what people will use in real terms. So right now I'm going to finish up doing the lawn with the powered machine because I think that's most representative of what people will be using at home. Now for those of you who just wanted the information from this video then thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like the video, don't forget to subscribe. In the next video I'm going to be covering fertilisation and different fertilisers on this lawn so if you're interested in that turn the notification bells on which will alert you for the next video. And for those of you who are interested on in seeing the final results, I'm going to do a quick pass with the manual machine just so you can see how that looks. So this is going to give you an indication of the type of stuff that's coming out. We've actually got loads of this annual meadow grass in there, which is great got some moss that's getting pulled out and as I said before the annual meadow grass has got really shallow roots so it's just getting ripped out with this dry weather.